All right. Hey, we're doing it. New sketch. S. We're sketching on here. And this time around, we're going to be using some associative design. Tricky word. And I'm going to push U. That's that shortcut right there. And we're going to bring in this. I drew that sketch on that center plane. Look, I brought that circle in. I brought that square in. I'm just going to add one more thing to this and then we're going to be done. Look, this thing is fully constrained already. This, this circle can't move. These lines can't move because it's based off of what we did over here. That's important. We'll talk about it in a moment. Then I'm going to draw another circle. And then drag that out. And we're going to go 1.25. Okay. So uh, everything's fully constrained. I know where the center point of that is. Everything's good to go. We're going to finish this sketch. All right. I'm going to extrude. And I'm going to start. I'm going to select all of these surfaces. Oops, I missed. <laughs> There we go. Let's uh, extrude all of these surfaces, and I'm going to go the other way. Actually, uh, I'm going to use this sketch later. That's why I am not doing symmetric on this. We are going one inch, and we'll be good to go. So I just wanted a solid. Okay. So we lost that sketch, but it's still here. We can use it again. And I messed up. Let's go back to extrude. I wanted a new part, not to add to that part. So let's make go to new. That's okay to mess up. You can always fix mistakes. That's great. We're going to go green checkbox. Now, if I hover over here, I can see my sketch three and there's an eyeball. Now I can use that sketch again to make another extrusion because I'm going to make this part come out. Right? So if I push S and I can click on the extrude button and now I only want to go come out 0.25. Push enter. And we're good to go, right? So again, I used this same sketch that I had. I was able to use it twice because I, I used the unhide or the hide button as you hover over it. So we are adding to this, and we're going to eight or a quarter inch. And I'm going to say green checkbox. You just did associative design. What does that mean? Remember this sketch? It uh. Is fully constrained but we didn't put dimensions on it we didn't say how far that center point is from the top right what we did was brought in the lines and they're based off of this circle so what's cool about this is that if i change this right here i moved it up the other one will update and so it'll match and it'll, it'll look right through there right we can see that that is fancy right so that's called associative design. Things are connected to each other. So that if I make it updates, it will make changes. Let's go ahead and change that back and leave it at 1.5. But that's how we design it so that if we need to, we can adjust. We are done with this part. You're awesome. Good luck.